I be feeling like the man when I walk through. I ain't stunned what you saying when I walk through. I got all these people there when I walk through. I done made a few bands on the walk through. Watch me, watch me. Hey, why me walk through? Watch me, watch me. Hey, why me walk through? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Smooth back in your face again with another episode of Bearded and Tatted. Alright, well, we're not here today to talk about my beard. Like I said, the series here is called uh, Bearded and Tatted, so I'm here to talk about one of my uh, many tats that I do here. I don't have, I don't have a lot. Like I said, this is a tat journey also, so as I get new tats, we're going to talk about what inspired me to get them. Tattoo testimonies and stuff like that. So uh, the first one I want to talk about is uh, this one right here. Stronger than yesterday. This means a lot to me. This um, goes back to a darker side and part of my life. You know what I mean? It was like a, a, an era of my life where things were just falling apart, left, right, and center. And um, and I, you know, I, I it was. A very very dark point in my life, you know what I mean? As you can see, the Ted is in a nice uh, nice script. Um, it's got the, uh, the the sad face. It's got the happy face. Or um, you know the uh, theatrical mask and stuff like that. Pretty much, this is just to say that um, happy face. Just when you think life is great, everything is going your way, everything is going fine. Uh, you know things couldn't get any better. Bang! Sad face. So don't get too comfortable in life, you know what I mean? I mean, where there's an up, there's a down. And when you're down, you never stay down for too long. You always make your way back up. Ah, happy face. What inspired me to get this tat was, um, it was a point in my life, I would say about uh, 2010-ish, 11-ish, when, uh, you know, things was going great, you know what I mean? I was on top of things. Had my own car, had my apartment, everything was good, my own business. I was a you know an entrepreneur, businessman, stuff like that there, and um pretty much I was living a single life, and you know, things couldn't be any 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 better, you know what I mean? Things couldn't be any better. Um getting back to the business side of it, I had my own trucking business, I had a big ass crane truck, you know what I mean, doing good, making thousands of dollars a week. The banks of G all cream downs are back. Money feet good, opposites off the set. It ain't hard to see my C's need guard degree. I got mouths to feed, unnecessary beef is more cows to breed. I'm on some tax fee shit by any means. Whether bound to hit scheme or some counterfeit cream, I learned much from some. They couldn't, like I said, at that point in time, my life couldn't get any better. And then guess what? The economy fell. It was wrong at the time. The, um, uh, we didn't feel the effects in, in, of the economy falling in Bermuda for, for quite a while, but when it did hit us, it hit us like a ton of bricks. And I mean, you know, I was I, had to, I was forced to shut my business down because it was cheaper to keep the truck off the road than run the business. Man, I mean, you know, I had to give up my apartment. I had to, you know, I, I had to move back home to mama. That, you know, as a man, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. I lost everything, you know what I mean? And, um, it was a really humbling experience um, in my, in, you know, in my, in, in my, in my life around that time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know what to do. I, I end up breaking my leg around the time I wasn't working. I broke my ankle, shattered that to pieces. I had to get reconstruction surgery to it. Didn't have no insurance, so you know that was like thousands and thousands of dollars, almost ten thousand dollars to get that done. Had to pay doctors off and stuff. And guess what? Around the same time, my baby boy broke his arm. Baby boy broke his arm, put me no more, no more than about a year and a half, two years, you know what I mean? Broke his arm, pull the recycle was in a cast and shit like that, yeah, that hurt me to see him like that. And then shortly after that, a couple of months, my oldest son goes and breaks his jaw, riding his paddle bike, slams him to another guy riding his bike and jaw broken. So we're all laid up, broken arm, broken leg, broken jaw, no money coming in, no insurance, so, uh, you know, I was like fucking well. It's just like I couldn't get any worse for me, you know what I mean? So fat and uh, it was like, I w it was to the point where I was going to like, to, to like, I was actually going to, to like, to churches to get food hampers and stuff like that because I wasn't making any money just to get some, you know, boxes of food that the church, they, they get together and they actually do up little hampers for you and stuff like that. So, uh, and give to whoever needs it. I mean, I actually stooped that, that low, you know what I mean? 
I speak that note. I mean, the one day I was uh, I was crying. I mean, I was actually cooking one night, cooking, standing up, broken leg, castle, and cooking some food. And I mean, a man can only take so much. You know what I mean? And it's like I, I didn't realize it, but it was tears running down my face, dripping off onto the stove. And then at, it was like I said, the explanation, the uh, the experience is it, very hard to to explain unless you've been down and out, like to the absolute bottom. Then um, you will never know what I'm talking about. If you've been having a super spoon in your mouth your whole life and never had any hard times, then you you will never know what I'm what I mean. I mean, it's like the tourists came. I, I bottled up so much stuff. I was dealing with so much stress that I mean, it was like the tourists just came. I couldn't hold them back, and then I just broke down boiling. Yes, a grown ass man boiling. I mean, you know, it sounds unmanly, but hey, sometimes you gotta call, you gotta cry, you gotta let this shit out. If you don't, it's gonna make it ten times worse for you. You know, you, you turn mentally insane and shit like that. Yeah, and Smooth is not having that. I'm not having that. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm a very strong personality. I've been crying to Mama that same night, and we talked down. I mean, we sat down, we talked about it. I mean, you know, she said things are gonna get better, son. Right now, you're in a bad spot, bad space in life. Things will get better. You know what I mean? No money coming in, no job, lost everything. Back here with Mama, and uh, at thirty, you know, at, at thirty. Um, at about what, what was that? Uh, 30 plus years old. It had to be about 35, 35, 36. Yeah, around that area at that time, yeah. So, you know, I, I, was, I was like, darn and all. I couldn't take any more of that. I mean, you know, the saying that the Lord doesn't dish out more than uh, you can handle. I was I was like, I can't handle no more. And I mean, we prayed about it. And um, I was laying in bed the next day. And I was flicking through the channel. And guess what? Guess who's on? TD Jakes. And, um, it was, it was a humbling experience. I was watching T.D. Jakes. Something told me to stop at this channel. So I was watching it, watching it, watching it. And um, it sounded like he was talking right to me. It was like everything he was talking about, it was hitting me right, right here. Like, you know, it was like, damn. This man knows exactly what I'm going through. Man. I mean, you know what I mean? And that's all the Lord works in experience in, 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 uh, in, um, in strange ways. You know what I mean? And we, me and my old lady, we prayed about it the night before. The next day, come on TV, TD Jakes is on talking right to me. And guess what? We prayed again that night. And the next, very next day, I was laid up at home. My old lady went to the grocery store, came back home and said, guess what? She was in, standing in line and she overheard the cashier talking to somebody else about somebody hiring jobs. Uh, in the area uh, for Bermuda government, which was bus driving job, driving a bus. So she bought it in, you know, she, which is very rude, but anyway, she bought it in and said, hey, well, my son is looking for this and that. And a uh, long story short, I ended up filling out the application and um, they pushed it through. She pushed my application through and I ended up getting a job uh, a few months later. It was about, about a month later I ended up getting a job. So I went in for my interview and um, at that time, my, heat, my broken ankle was just, just healing up. And um, so I'm like, well, shit, it's a bus driving job. How the fuck are they going to hire somebody that's got a fucked up broken leg? So I was like, I went in anyway. I, I took the, I, uh, you know, by, by that time the cast was off and everything. So I had squeezed my, my swollen leg into some, some dress shoes, put on my clothes, and I went down there to this interview. And as much as my ankle was hurting, boy, I walked like it was enough and wrong with me. Trust me, they tell you, you know what I mean? Uh, Swirling ankle and saw the shoe hurt like a bastard. But anyway, look, I, I pushed through and I got out of there. I mean, my, my, my face was all red from the pain and shit. Got back home, kicked that shoe off, and I and I and, and you know it was like the weight was like was torture. The weight was torture. And um they called me back and I got the job. So I just wanna say that whenever you feel like you're you're at your utmost bottomed out in life. Put on your rubber suit. I call it my rubber suit. You put on your rubber suit and you just prepare for impact for rock bottom. You hit rock bottom, bang, and it went just like a rock ball. You hit rock bottom, you bounce right back up. So right now, I made my way back up, climbing up. I've, um, I've got a good job, excellent job. I've been promoted to uh, drive a trainer now, you know what I mean? And I'm um, making good money. Right now, I'm making about $30 an hour. So I mean, guaranteed $1,000 a week coming in. And then over time, you're looking at $1,200. Two days over time, you're looking at $1,400, $1,500 a week. I mean, I can't complain, you know what I mean? Right now, I am back on top of my game. But um, hey, never forget, right now I'm here. This can come at any point in time. I get to that to say that, which is what does it mean in this tattoo here?
stronger than yesterday. From the time I wake up in the morning, and I'm blessed for getting up in the morning, I'm one day wiser, one day stronger, physically and mentally. So yes, I get up, I look in my mirror, I shape up my bird, you know, like I said, I am on a bird journey, but that's a whole other video, I'll get to that later on. Uh, coming up on my seventh week, I mean, sorry, my, my, my two month period, so that's my next video is gonna be for my two month uh, update, so look out for that. But uh, like I say, I look in the mirror, the first thing I see is stronger than yesterday, and like, it just inspires me. You know what I mean? Happy face, say it face. So, once again, I say, whenever you're up, don't get too cocky with your damn self, because just like that, in a blink of an eye, you can go from happy face to this shit right here. You know what I mean? That's life. Such is life. For myself, uh, uh, I mean, you know, if everything is going, I'm going, going so good right now, you know what I mean? Oh, another thing, I, at the time, I, at that point in time, I was, you know, I had got into a lot of drinking and smoking because it was like, I had nothing else, you know what I mean? And that was one of my vices, those were my vices, drinking and smoking, to the point where it was like, I was almost an alcoholic, you know what I mean? Right now, I've, I've quit the drinking, I, I probably have a little drink here and there, once in a while I have myself a nice little cocktail, you know, here with the missus, but um, I quit smoking now, and I feel a uh, hundred times healthy and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I, I, around the time, I, I, I met myself a, a, a nice girlfriend. Right now, she's my fiance. I prefer to her. Ooh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. She looks like a mother. Uh, and uh, we're due to get married in 2017. So, like I said, life is really, really great right now. And I, I humble, it's humbled myself, my, my experience being rock bottom. And, um, hey, such is life, you know what I mean? Whenever you think you're up, don't get too cocky because you can make your way back down again and um, be back in that same predicament, you know what I mean? So, um, that's my time, like I said. Tune in every so often. I'm gonna make a, a video about some of the tattoos that I do here. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's not much. I've got a few good ones around here. But um, like I said, and uh, sort of like my tattoo testimony. You know what I mean? Um, just wanna say, tattoos—they tell your story. And remember, man doesn't grow the beard. The beard grows that man. Bird up, Ink Nation, Bird Gang. I'm out. Did a lot, did a lot, just live this here lifestyle. Can't skate from the bottom to the top of my lifestyle.